All right, as a part of our alumni tribute series, I am pleased to be joined by Miriam Bloom, former Sonoma State women's soccer player, now currently in Boston in nursing school. Um, Miriam, first of all, thank you for being here. As I'm sure you've heard, things are a little crazy in California. How have you been affected in Boston by the pandemic right now? Um, Boston, so I, um, when I had to come to nursing school, I had to like get a COVID test and do all these special parameters before coming here and then let my school know because we're going to be in the hospitals. So you had to make sure you got your COVID test and it was negative or you had to quarantine. But Boston is actually, I don't know if it's more of a city feel from where I am from in California, which is San Diego, but a lot of people wear masks and they're, I think this Boston's at 1% infection rate. So it's pretty good. Um, when we go to campus, we wear an N95 with a surgical mask over it, which we'll also be doing in hospitals. And then if we're going to, if we have to do skills that are within like six feet of each other, we have to put a face shield on. So not too bad, but I mean, the wearing the mask, I guess, is the only thing that we really have to do. <laughs> yeah, well, it doesn't sound too bad at all. You were part of a very successful era in Sonoma State women's soccer, a 2008 graduate. Talk a little bit about that decision that you had to make in high school to come to Sonoma State and how that panned out for you. I graduated in 2015. So I started at Sonoma State in 2015. And um, I, my senior year of um, high school, I took a class that talked about, or I guess it would have been like my junior year, spoke about healthcare professionals. And that's when I figured out I want to be a nurse. And Sonoma State has a phenomenal nursing program. So I applied to the pre-nursing program, which I got into. And then um, while I was at Sonoma State, I did not want to stop playing soccer, which I would have most likely had to do my sophomore year if I went into the nursing program. So I decided to wait to apply and I switched to a biology major. So I finished my four years getting a BA in biology, and then um, I took a year off and did a couple more prereqs while I applied to nursing school, and then that's how I ended up here in Boston. You were part of some great teams, particularly your freshman year. You guys went undefeated in the CCAA, uh, won the conference. What was that like right out of the gate, getting involved in a program that was so successful? And you were a big part of that, obviously, as the Women's Soccer Player of the Year for four years. It was pretty special being part of that team. I think a lot of the credit for that year should go to um, the five seniors that we had. They were like, they decided like the tone for the year and that was like how it was. And you could clearly see that Amiria, who's a great head coach and them were completely on the same page. So we kind of just as freshmen came in and just kind of whatever role that we were put into, you just played your role and everything kind of worked out the way it was supposed to do that year. Talk a little bit about Amiria Saltzman and how she develops the team and the chemistry of the team, fascinated by the success that she's been able to duplicate year after year. We spend a lot of time together as a team. Um, so I think that foremost is like the most important, especially on travel trips. So like, for example, my freshman year, we traveled, I think from like the middle of or like the second week of September all the way until playoffs which is on in Halloween at the end of October so that's a lot of time to be on the road together and everything and when we're on the road people didn't have their phones in vans or at dinner and so you you really get to know each other as teammates and for me as a freshman like you're kind of forced to get to know each other because it's, it's always a little awkward coming into a new team they already know each other but when you're kind of all distractions are taken away while you're all focusing on something that you really care about. You all kind of bond really quick. And I think that's was really important for our 2015 team is that like, we just, we had a hard travel schedule and travel year that year, but I think that kind of made us a better team and um, we were a really close team. So that was what made that year, I think most successful. And uh, Amiria really stresses that and the importance of being a good teammate and like, the importance of working hard, which is what that program's built on, and that um, led to our success that year for sure. Is there any memory that really stands out for you in terms of the team and the success that you achieved as a team? There's so many throughout all the four years from just like stupid things that we do in the vans on trips to trainings that were really fun to games, but my freshman year when we won our first round of the NCAA against um, Point Loma, that was the first game, I think, won in 17 years, first NCAA game won in 17 years for the women's program. So, And I think that was Amiria's first win of an NCAA game. So that was pretty cool to do that. And then, I mean, we made it to NCAA all four years. So 
there's nothing much more that you can ask for. And we won conference my freshman year. So all of those attributes are really fun. But I think the most special thing you get out of the program is some of the stuff you do in off season in spring and just spending time with each other on travel trips. And not only a great on field success for you, but you are a great student as well. 3.65 overall GPA. How did you balance all of that? And what advice would you give to current student athletes? Um, I would say I really liked my classes. So starting as I've always known, I wanted to do nursing for like a while. So starting out with those classes my freshman year, they were interesting and I liked them. And I knew that taking those classes would get me to where I wanted to be later on. So that made it easy just to focus as along with biology too. A lot of Sonoma State's biology program is focused in marine biology, which is super interesting. We got to go to the ocean to do field trips and everything like that. So it makes it easier, but um, just staying focused. Uh, season actually makes it way easier to stay focused because you have, you know how much time you're going to have each weekend because you have two games and you have training and you have travel time. So you just know like, okay, I have this free time. I know I need to study during this time. So I think just like figuring out your proper way to study, which can be done in your freshman year classes that are not as hard. So just really kind of figuring that out before you start into your harder upper division classes is what I think helped me successfully academically. I'm curious from the sports information side that I'm involved with, if you kind of keep in touch, keep an eye on things at Sonoma State, particularly with the soccer program and, and how you keep an eye on things. Um, I kept in contact with a lot of the girls that were seniors this year. So they were one year below me. And I still talk to a couple that are on the team now and some that were have already graduated. We all kind of keep in contact. But my last year when I was living in California still, I went and watched them when they were in LA and in San Diego. So it's always fun to watch, especially even the video games when the girls are playing. Um, you just, you're happy to see them do well because you put so much effort and time into the program that going to watch it, and especially when girls are on the team that you played with, it's it's really like, it's a different experience being in the, in the uh, stands, but it's really special. You're like, oh, wow, like this is what I graduated. I had like an impact on these players. This is what I left behind. It's really cool to see that after you graduate. And what's the takeaway from your experience at Sonoma State that is helping you currently and uh, you think will help you in the future? Working hard can get you pretty much anything you want. So that's something that like Amir used to say, like we're always in the trenches with each other when you're doing fitness or you have a hard game or whatever. But thinking about being in the trenches and, you know, you can always get out of it as long as you work hard and stay focused, I think is the most beneficial. Um, and then teamwork obviously comes with just being an athlete, which will, is helpful in every single situation. All right. Well, I really appreciate you being with us. And uh, obviously, you know, being in nursing school um, has got to be challenging for you. And I'm sure you're doing well with that. And uh, can't wait to hear about where you end up. Uh, have you made a final decision about where you want to go from here? Or, or are you still kind of thinking about it? Um, I hope I'm hoping to move back to California after um, I am done with school, which is in a year. And then I think I haven't started any of my in person rotations because of COVID this summer, we were at home still. So I just moved here like a couple weeks ago. But if I enjoy doing my pediatric rotations, I hope to do pediatric um, nursing or hopefully oncology. So we'll see what I end up having a liking of. All right. Well, thanks again for being with us, Miriam. Good luck with everything. Miriam Bloom, one of our tremendous former student athletes, a part of our alumni tribute series.